My name is Lazy Retired Granny, and I am a triple whipper. And I belong to the Spill My Drills Club. <laughs> Welcome in everyone, Lazy Retired Granny here. Today is Sunday, January 28, 2024, and the time is 6.43 a.m. here in Still Dark, Salem, Oregon. I am continuing my journey on Craftably's A Dreamy Retreat, which is a 42 by 24 inch canvas. The artist is Gino Peoples, and it is a square drill with 80 colors, which includes six ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis, which is drills that have a special effect coated on them, and they are great for creating extra shimmering effects on the diamond painting. And it has four LZs, which are rhinestones or crystals that appear more like a jewel or have a metallic appearance. Okay, so I'll set this aside and turn on the light and fix my camera a little bit here. Let's see, it needs to come down just a tad. Perfecto. I am drinking my breakfast blend coffee with French vanilla creamer today. I just uh, heated it up in the uh, old microwave. Okay, I am currently on color 64 which are the little X's here. And color 64 is 3799. Let's check the old list and see if it's on there. Three, seven, nine, nine. Very dark. Pewter gray. Okie dokie, smoky. Okay. So let's get this show on the road. So, first of all, yeah, I finally got the notice up about the premiere today, which is one o'clock my time. So I did list that, that on the comments. I think I have it right this time. I googled it. So depending on what time zone you're in, yeah, that's what time it'll be on. I forgot to put on there that, Mike, your time will be one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine o'clock tonight. I believe, if I am correct, Amundo. So, yeah. And I have some questions that I ask. So, be ready for the QA. And you can write your answers in the chat. And if you watch it at a later time, you can put your answers in the comments. And if you don't know what a premiere is all about, it's where I do a pre-recorded video, but I am in the chat room live. So it's not a live live, it's a premiere live. <laughs> So the video is not live, but the chat is. So, okay. 
So what have I been up to? You know what? I am really having a hard time focusing. I don't know. It's been going on since last Friday when I got off my schedule with going to the eye doctor. I don't know. It's crazy pants. So I'm trying to do a real effort to stay focused. Yeah, so I haven't got much diamond painting done. And then my son, who lives upstairs, sent me a text to see if I could take the boys to school next week because Trenton, who is my older grandson, his car is in the shop because he was in an accident. And then my son, his car is going in the shop because it needs some clutch work done on it. So the truck, which is their extra vehicle, he's got to use it to go to work so my son can't use it to go to school. So I am going to be taking them to school and picking them up. So, yeah, another schedule change for me. And Oh my goodness, I'm out of Kleenex. Um, oh. There we go. New Kleenex. Um, my older grandson only goes to class part-time. I don't know, he's on some special program. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. But... I don't have to worry about it. So it's not like he goes to school, you know, six or seven hours a day. It's just part days. So, and it's different every day. So, yeah. So he may go to school for three hours and then I pick him up, you know, or four hours and then I pick him up. So... Yeah, it's going to be kind of crazy pants, so I'm going to have to redo my thinking on all of that. And so I'm going to switch over to the use that I already did that I forgot to do these. So that is color 20 which is 451. Which is dark shell gray. So I only have a few of those to put in. So yeah, so it's going to be Monday through Thursday, I don't have to do it Friday. It's my schedule change and so I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do my, <coughs> all the things that I do during the day. I am a very busy person. <laughs> so, get my household chores done and my diamond painting, my um, videos. Okay, we all know that these circles... Those are the three tens, the famous blacks. I 
I switched what trays I'm using. Um, I love that white tray. However, my issue with it is the spout. The, for some reason, the drills get stuck right in here. And then they go all over the place and oh, what a mess. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to try the purple tray. It's more like a lavender to me, not purple. When I think of purple, I think of dark purple. So this is more a pastel purple. And I don't mind the pastel purples, but I am not a purple people eater, so. Yeah. So I did not get my Ellie video yesterday. I completely spaced it again. So I gotta get in the habit of that. So I'm gonna try to do that today. And yeah, busy, busy, busy. <laughs> and not really. <laughs> I just pretend that I'm a busy person because I am lazy. Okay, let's see what else we got on the agenda here. color do I want to do next? What are these squiggly? Those are pretty. Those are LZs. LZ602 77. I don't think I have used that yet. Oh wow. Those are pretty. Oh yeah. Let's try that out. You know, I think we had some squigglies. See, these are squigglies with lines underneath them. But I think they're squigglies without the line. I hope I didn't mess up. Let me double check on that. Maybe I'm just making that up. Looking at the key. Or maybe it was out in my other canvas. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is one thing about being a triple whipper. It must have been on my other canvas. Phew. Good, okay. I didn't mess up. These are really pretty. I don't think you can see those. Oh, they're beautiful. All right, let's lay some down and see what it is gonna look like. Ooh, I like these. Yeah, these are more the rhinestones like you get in the special shapes and whatnot. Oh my gosh, those are beautiful. Sorry. Yeah, and they're kind of a pinkish, carnation pink, I guess. That's what I would think. <clears throat> and I don't know, maybe you guys know, is there a color chart for LZ colors and AB colors? I wonder, let me just check on something. Okay, so this is LZ602. So let's just look. <clears throat> okay, on the color chart, 602 is cranberry. All right, let's see what 666 is. Bright red. So let's see what... I 
I don't have a 666. Okay, 3078. Let's see what that is. I wonder if that's what they go by. 3078. You know, I think that's what they do because that's very light golden yellow and let's see. Oh, oh, 79. No, well, no, that's not a yellow. Okay, 3865. Let's see what that is. Not on my list. Okay, so let's look at the ABs. AB07. Okay, what's color? I don't think we have an 07. We don't. Okay, let's see what two. If we have, no, we don't have a 208. Oh, Ellie. Oh, I'm gonna put you on pause. I'm gonna see what she's. All right, my son must have been dropping off the mail to my other son. He was stopped out front. And Ellie was saying, danger, danger, danger. All right, well, that wasn't a good idea on the color thing. So I don't know how they, if everybody goes to a color code on those or not. I'll have to research that. I wonder if, let me look on the computer here quick and see what it says. Um, let's see. Is there color chart? Or A, B, drills. Well, let's type it right. In diamond painting. All right, let's see what it tells us. Hmm. All right, let's see what this says. What? <sighs> All right. Oh, this one you can buy, but oh, that's not what I want. Okay. Okay, here we go. Is there a conversion chart for the AB drills? Oh, oh, okay, there is one. I will have to print that off. Oh, wow. Okay, so, okay, so we do know that. All right, now, Let's go search for the LZ and see what it says. Because I don't know if everybody uses that code.
Well, that is interesting. All right, so I learned something new. So I'm going to have to do that and add that to my list. That's pretty cool. Maybe I, maybe, I wonder if, since these are crystals and rhinestones, maybe that's what I should look up. Maybe that's what they use. And maybe different companies use different, you know, because now, um, yeah, I don't know what diamond art uses for their rhinestones if it's called LZs um, and you know another company not just diamond art but because um, there's a lot of people who use the AB so uh, you know it maybe it's just a standard okay the ABs but the LZs you know and now they have the stardust or something um, yeah, diamond painting is getting to be one of those, you know, changes all the time. New things are being thought up. Oops, did I flip that? What happened here? You don't belong there. Oh, I got to show you my new invention. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, you know, I use the nano grab tape on my pen. Instead of the wax, I put it, I put nano glue in, which I do like nano glue for the ABs and, you know, and all that. And for the premium canvases, it works really good. For me, that's just my opinion. Because right now, I'm using the nanograph tape. And, yeah, it's picking up these special drills really nice. And it doesn't leave a residue on it and stuff. But with the nanograph, if you just lightly wash it off when it the stickiness goes away... Yep, it goes sticky again. It's like magic. So I was just using some wet ones, you know, whatever they are. and But those dry out, and I had to keep it in a plastic bag. And, I mean, you can use anything. You could use, you know, a scrap of cloth or, you know, whatever. And keep it damp and you know just to wash it off but I thought you know what I got to be different what can I do and so what I did is I had a a new sponge and so I cut the sponge and then what can I use with the green boat <laughs> that we all have millions of so um I just cut a square of of this. Now, actually, I put too much water in it. Let me let me just um, dump this a little bit because I do want to show this to you correctly. All right. So <clears throat> anyway, I just got the sponge wet, and you know it's damp, and set it in there. And then all I have to do is just, you know, run this across it and then it gets sticky again. And then this can just set up here conveniently for me. You know, kind of like the old, I don't know if they still use it or not because everything's paperless. But back in the day, we had one of those roller, wet roller thing. You filled it with water in the bottom and rolled it around on your finger. 
um, so that your fingers would get wet when you're working with paper. Kind of the same deal. I mean, you can buy them with a sponge too. So, yeah, so I started that yesterday working, and um, yeah, so it only takes a second just to get your sponge wet and then squeeze it out and set it in the green boat, and ta da! I mean, you could use any boat or, you know, anything. I was just trying to. How can I recycle this? What can I use? So it's a lot simpler than going through all those wet ones and yep and it works. It works for me. So, did you guys sign up for Tita's Facebook page? Yeah, she's got 103 the last I checked. She just started it, what, yesterday or the day before? Yeah, people are posting in there. And it's um, just not diamond painting. It's any craft. So, it's just for crafting, not for stash or anything like that it's just you know just showing off your craft whether it's diamond painting or knitting crocheting quilting um paint by number coloring yeah just for crafts just what you're currently your current journey. Or maybe you want to say, I'm so excited. I just got this canvas. <laughs> Yeah, so it's called, let me get over there. Um, let me go to my groups. It's called Diamonds by Tita. And let's see, view group. Oh, 106 members so far. So that's excellent. A lot of interest in that. In that page. So if you're a Facebooker, and a lot of people that maybe don't post, uh, are, are not a content creator on YouTube, but, you know, they are on, they can post things on uh, Facebook. Yeah. So I encourage you to share your, your craft over there. You can comment, you know, just like regular Facebook. You can make comments on people's posts and um, ask questions to them. Yeah, so it's just another way to be involved in the crafting community. Get to know other crafters. And you never know. You know, you might connect with somebody that, has the same interest as you you and yeah it's kind of cool you can get new friends and
This is such a pretty color. I'm just admiring it. There's quite a bit in here. I wonder what that is for that sparkle. Let's look at the picture. See if we can figure it out. So, I don't even know where I'm at here. All right. I got to get some. Okay, so this is the path. Hang on a minute. I gotta look at the full canvas. All right, so there's the bridge. I've got the bridge done. And all right, let's find the bridge. All right, so there's the bridge. Okay, and this little thing right here, okay, I've got done, that done. So it's up, up above from there. Maybe it's part, are you kidding me? What is going on? Am I still recording? Oh, my thing just... Oh, sorry about that. I don't know what happened to my camera. All of a sudden, this 911 thing popped up. Anyway, yeah, it looks like it... No, because the tree's up here. Well, I guess it'll be a surprise to all of us. And that's a pink. Now I'm afraid to hold this back up again. That hmm. It has to be in that tree somewhere, I would assume. Hmm. All right, well, I don't want to dwell on it and bore you. We'll just continue on, and we'll find out. That's one thing I like about diamond painting, is that you sit here and you diamond paint, diamond paint, and then, you know, when you do a section, you look back, and you see what, you know, you've, you've uh, done. And it's like, wow. That's always amazing to me. Especially on these larger canvases. So maybe that's going to inspire me today to finish this section. So I know where the sparkle is at. I am behind in my diamond painting that I usually do. Just been... A lot of things going through my brain that I want to do and... That, that's what happens to me. If I get too many brilliant ideas... Uh, uh, and it's hard for me to focus. I can only have one brilliant idea at a time. <laughs> Usually my brilliant ideas go over like a lead balloon, so. Some more of these. There's a lot in this bottle, so we're gonna, whatever this is, we're gonna have a lot of it. Yeah, it goes over this way. 
Hmm. Maybe I should have done this last and filled in everything else and then did these. <laughs> We all like the shiny stuff. I'm really, really liking my new setup here. Yeah, it's going so much better and I figured out my camera. So everything's not backwards and I think that's why I'm also why I'm a little bit crazy here because I have been working a lot on my crafting space. getting used to it and doing a little bit of tweaks here and there. But yeah, I think I'm really on the road to success. So I'm doing a pretty big section here um, on this part, oh, which I really know better than to do that. You know, I've said that a hundred times, but, and a hundred times I keep doing it. So yeah, I'm gonna go out and get some Ellie video today. So you're going to get a lot of stuff from me today. I feel ambitious today. How's that? I'm feeling confident I will get it done. But I hate saying, oh yeah, I'm going to do this, this, and then I don't do it. Yeah, I'm not doing so good on the Ellie videos. And she does such amazing stuff. <laughs> She's probably just a, a normal dog. That, but to me, she's... She is uh, special. <laughs> I call her Shelly Ellie Belly. And the reason is that Shelly is Sheldon from the big... Bang Theory and Young Sheldon, his mom called them that, Shelly. And we all know that, you know, I really enjoy that show. And um, so Shelly, Ellie, and Belly is because she likes her belly rubbed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's do L25, which is that, which is 600. All right, so let's see what 600. Very dark cranberry. I like that color. I don't like cranberries, but I like the color. So we got some L's down here, so we'll start here. I 
have a Timu haul video I need to do. That came, well, it's really weird because the updates aren't the best, but yeah, it got stuck in customs, I guess, for a while. And then it said it'd be here Monday. And then last night, my grandson came down and said it was delivered up at their house. So he brought it down. So I got to do that yet. Don't know for sure when that's going to go up yet. Because I got a lot going on today with videos. And I don't. Why is my camera doing that? So strange. I've got ghosts in the house. Oh, something else I need to figure out, I guess. Because the mouse isn't near me, so it's not like I'm touching the mouse. Camera's up above, so I'm not touching the camera. Just switches you over to look at my ceiling. So I did that one upside down. Yeah, so yeah, I don't want to put on a lot of videos. And I'm going to have three today with this whip and chat, Ellie video, and my premiere. So. can only take so much of lazy retired granny. Some of you are saying way too much. Maybe what I can do, because I don't really two videos a day is enough so maybe what I can do is kind of switch it up <clears throat> and so do my whip and chats because I do those every day for the morning and then I can put on an Ellie video and then in between doing those I can put up the Timu haul and they'll because um, I got quite a few of them so it'll probably be at least three three Timu hauls and then I do have some product reviews and yeah so, uh, yeah, let's just shake it up a little bit. Depends on what's going on on that day. How's that? I don't want to, you know, like I say, have too much. <clears throat> Okay, oh my gosh, 45 minutes, so that's about good. So, yeah, so I think I'm going to, what do I want to do now? I need to fill in this green part down here. So I think that's where I'll go. Usually, that's what I do. I start here and then just work my way up. I'm kind of all over the place, just like my brain. Um... 
Yeah. And I'm anxious to get this done. I want to know what in the world it is. So I'll try to get as much done so that when I do the um, premiere, one o'clock my time, which is 7 30, 8 30, 9 30, 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, uh, five and a half hours. So I'll try to get as much done there as what I can. And then when I do the premiere, you can see what's going on there. How's that? Mm hmm. Yep, yeah, that's a good plan. Okie dokie. Well, I am going to let you go. And I will hopefully see everybody this afternoon. And if you have any questions for me or um, any chit chat things you want to talk about, write them in the the chat room, and uh, or write them in the comments on this video. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate everybody that watches my videos and comments and all that good stuff. Okay, have a great day.